This is the story of a 15-year-old boy named Daniel, who was living peacefully with his family. He belonged to a very rich family and was the only child of his parents. His parents had provided him with all the facilities and comforts of life, and he was very close to both of them. But one night changed his life completely. That night, his parents were coming to collect him from his friend's birthday party. They were driving through the woods when suddenly a strange woman came in front of their car out of nowhere. Daniel's dad lost control and their car hit the woman. The accident was so brutal that the woman and they both died on the spot. Daniel was shattered. After their death, Daniel was left all alone. He had no other family to turn to, except for his aunt and uncle who lived in another town. His aunt and uncle were very sweet and humble. They did not have a child of their own, so they were really happy to raise Daniel as their own son. However, Daniel was in a miserable state and had no other choice but to go with them. His aunt and uncle were rather poor and lived in a very secluded area in a small cottage, away from all the hustle and bustle. Their house was in the middle of nowhere. This really bothered Daniel. He could not see any neighboring house for miles. Despite being with his relatives, he felt lonely and started to miss his dead parents even more. But his aunt and uncle were extremely loving and caring towards him. They were doing their best to comfort Daniel and didn't want to see him suffer. Slowly, Daniel was starting to feel much better and was settling down. He started smiling again and was getting very close to them. But he still missed his parents very much. One night, Daniel woke up to something that shook his soul. Next morning, he told his aunt and uncle about what he saw in the window, but they didn't believe him and told him that they had been living in this house for years and nothing strange ever happened with them. This is very safe area and it must be his nightmare. 
but Daniel was sure about what he saw. The next night, when Daniel was about to fall asleep, he heard someone walking in his room. He could not see a thing because the room was dark. Auntie, uh, is that you? Daniel told his aunt and uncle everything. He was terrified and looked miserable. They were really worried for him. They were so happy that Daniel was coming back to his normal self. But now he looked even more miserable than before. Next few nights, Daniel could not sleep at all. He was afraid to even close his eyes. This was really affecting his health. He wouldn't talk or behave like he used to. They could not bear to see his health deteriorate like that. They felt as if they were losing their own child and when they could not do anything to save him, they decided to take him to a good psychiatrist. After examining Daniel's condition, the psychiatrist told them that Daniel is suffering from severe mental trauma after his parents' sudden death. It seems like the loss of his parents has affected him so much, both mentally and emotionally, that he has developed schizophrenia, a condition which is causing him to see things which aren't real. He prescribed Daniel some strong antipsychotic medications and told them that he should take these medications regularly, otherwise Daniel's condition can deteriorate to the point of no return. His aunt and uncle started taking care of Daniel more than ever. They made sure he takes his medications regularly, but sadly, Daniel's condition was not improving. One night, his uncle felt really sick and his aunt had to rush him to the hospital in the middle of the night. Daniel was asleep. His aunt did not want to wake him up because she was afraid that he might not fall back to sleep. So she locked him in the house and drove to the hospital. Daniel heard the car leaving and woke up. Auntie? Uncle? <gasps> he realized that he was all alone in the house. That was enough to make him paranoid. He knew that any second that woman would appear from the dark and there will be nobody to save him tonight. This will be his end. Anxiety hit him so hard that he started searching for his pills like a lunatic. All he wanted was to take his pills so he could calm himself and hide under the blankets. When he couldn't find his pills anywhere, he thought that his aunt must have put them somewhere in her room. He got enough courage to get out of bed and ran towards her bedroom. He started searching for his pills, but he could not see them anywhere. Where did she keep them? A mask? 
That night, Daniel found out that his aunt and uncle were behind all this. Their plan was to drive him insane and send him to an asylum so they can get all the wealth Daniel's parents had left for him. They would have succeeded if Daniel hadn't found that mask that night in his aunt's wardrobe. After that, Daniel left their house, called the police for help, and his greedy aunt and uncle finally got what they deserved. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much to all my patrons who are supporting me outside YouTube. Their support really means a lot. I'll see you soon with another creepy story. Until then, 